Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do an update for my single ladies and my man Matt. I just filmed a video. So just so you know. This is the update for November. What is it? 10? 10, I think. Update 10. This project started in the beginning of the year, so in January, and we are a bunch of ladies here on YouTube and Instagram, and I'm I'm sitting with a palette, sorry. And this project is based around some matte shadows from a palette and then some single shadows. So my man matte is a matte palette and single ladies are the single eye shadows. I'm hitting pan on my single shadows and then I rotate them out to work on something else. And then when I have pan on them all, I roll them in again and then finish them off, I think. Yeah. <laughs> So I, I just need to be motivated at all times because this project is going to be going on for a very long time and that means I'm going to work on the same stuff almost every, all the time because my role is not to buy so much stuff <laughs> all the time. So my matte palette for the year is my Morphe 35OM palette. Why am I looking? My, my brain is fried, I think. I, I've been at work, it's late. This is what my palette looked like last month. And this is what my palette is looking like this month. Which is really exciting. I have a lot of pans now. 8, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and the hair. So I have 11 pans in my palette right now. It's far from 35, but I think 11 pans is really, really nice and really good because these shadows are dry and very tightly packed into the pan. They are on the older side, so that is maybe why it, they are dry because I don't remember them being dry when I first got this palette. But they're really, really nice and I really like them and I use them daily. Yeah. Apparently I hit pen on three eyeshadows. I just pulled out the picture from last month. I hit pen on that shadow right there, that shadow, and this one. This one I have used a lot in my brows and in my outer corners. This one in my crease all the time. And this I have blended out my crease color, so the orange, but I have also used it as a transition, so before the orange. And so yeah, that is basically how I have been using it so this is how my palette is looking like now so the shadows that i have moved on to are that shadow right there so that is a mixture between these two so i use that on my brow bone and then i use this shadow right here for my crease and then i am using this one in my outer corner and in my brows because i have dyed my hair a little bit more red these two uh, shades right here were kind of perfect, but then I hit pan and then I was like, let's move on. So I have tried to use this shadow in my brows, this one in my brows, and this one actually. I have this one in my brows today. Yesterday I had this one and then they obviously were darker. But I actually think this color is really nice combined with my brow gel and my color two from Maybelline. So that this is how I that is how I'm using it right now. Using one, two, three, four shadows at the time. My goal is to hit pan on a few shadows for next time. I don't really care what they are but I really want to hit pan on some um just to keep it going because i am planning on switching it out in january i just really want to work on something else i think i made really really nice progress i know i haven't finished any but this project is going on forever the, it's basically never ending so i will come back to this palette i don't have that many matte palettes in my collection but i do have quite a few and i really want to work on them um so Next year I'm going to choose another one, but I'm really happy about this progress I have made of this palette so far. And hopefully I can get some new pants for the next two months. So, it's really insane that we only had two months left of 2019. It's insane. Then we have four single shadows that I'm working on. Last time I rolled in this one. This is a Benefit eyeshadow. A single shadow? 
of course, from a holiday palette in 2005, 15, sorry, 15. You can see a small dip forming and it was brand new last time. I have maybe swatched it a few times, but this is where I am. I use it all daily in my inner corner and then I am sometimes topping off another eyeshadow. And that is my cat crying. The next eyeshadow that have a dip forming in it, it is from Makeup Geek and it is called Morocco. You can see the dip now really clearly. It's really, really awesome, actually. I don't know if I can hit pan on it next time, but I think it will be my goal to hit pan on this uh, Morocco shade and then the nude swing shade. Let's see if I can do it. It took a long time to hit pan on the base shade that I have here um, last time. The next two shadows I haven't been that good at using here in October. I was really good in September. There's a dip forming in it, um, so I've been using it a few times this month. Not a lot, but I have been using it a few times. I've been working on some other shadows, basically. And then I have Side of Olives from Color Rain. It is an olive shade. And there's still this dip. I don't think I have used it in October, maybe once. So no progress there. But I will insert some pictures for you guys, obviously. So I really hope I can hit some more pans in my Morphe palette on the Benefit shadow and the Orange Makeup Geek eyeshadow. That would be so amazing to have some new pans in those for next time so I can roll something new in. I'm just really excited about this project. I really, really, really enjoy it and I do really enjoy the other ladies videos and I uh, post on Instagram and so on. There has been some new people uh, coming in. I, I look at myself in the viewfinder, my eyes look so red. I'm, I'm tired. Look, <laughs> life, basically life. That is everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you can cope with my kind of red eyes. Um, I'm really excited about this project and I am excited to keep going. I use my eyeshadows all the time. And yes, sometimes you hit pan, sometimes you don't. It really depends on the eyeshadow formula. Because some of the shadows I have in this project is, are really soft. And some are really powdery and some are not that pigmented. And some are just dry and hardly pressed. It really depends on how fast you hit pan on an eyeshadow and the brush for that matter. You hit pan on a shadow, the quicker the more dense it is the brush so yeah a very fluffy brush don't pan that easily in a shadow <laughs> but i like my fluffy brushes so that's an issue basically yeah. i hope you guys enjoyed this video check out the other ladies down below in the description box and until my next video please take care bye